Hello my artists, this is Ms. Schaefer and today we are going to do snowmen in the Starry Starry Night. Let's go! First I want to introduce you to artist Vincent Van Gogh. He was born March 1853. Van Gogh was a Dutch post-impressionist painter who is among the most famous and influential artists in the history of Western art. In just over 10 years, he created about 2,100 artworks, including about 860 oil paintings, most of which he did in the last two years of life. He died at the age of 37 in 1890. So today, we will be admiring his Starry Night painting and using the same technique he did with his Wind and Stars. This style is a French art movement called Post-Impressionism. So are you ready to start your snowman in the most beautiful sky? Let's go. So I am using oil pastels today, but you can use whatever supplies you have. And I'm drawing shapes. My shapes are almost circles. Now I wanna do the top one first. This is the snowman. And cause you're gonna overlap the top layer to the middle layer and then the middle layer to the bottom. Then you're gonna draw a snow at the bottom and you're gonna do a couple of ovals for the hat. And remember, there's gonna be a smile on the band on the hat. So after you've made your shapes of your hat, you are going to make your branches. Now don't make them perfect and you want them, you know, raised up Now I'm going to map everything out and I'm gonna start with the moon. So in the starry night, they have um, a partial moon. So we're gonna start with that and then I'm gonna place all of the stars. In the starry night, in the very center of the stars is kind of a hint of orange. Now I'm gonna map out the wind and how it has currents all through the sky. They almost look like S's. Remember, you're gonna use tiny lines like the post-impressionism style. I'm making my cypress tree right beside my snowman. Now you wanna map out the landscape with a lot of snow banks and going maybe up the hill and some curves. You will make white snow dark blue in some areas. Now we're going to do some shading on the snowman and we wanna put the shadow away from the moon side. So if you have a moon on the other side, you're gonna to have to put your shadow away from it. And then put all your coal that's placed on the snowman and the carrot nose. I like to put the eyes far apart. And now we are going to color in little tiny lines. Everything will be lines because that's what impressionists do. All the little tiny lines are separate, so they're not on top of each other, and you, in between them, you do a different color. So you see each stroke, each line, and you don't make them too long. Now, I like to add a different color in my hat if it's black, so I'm adding like purples and blues in it. And in the snow, I'm gonna have blue and white and a little bit of purple and maybe even a little bit of moonlight of the yellow. So most of all of my drawings have some extra color in everything. It's always not just the one color. And you keep layering until it all gets filled in. The shadows from the tree and the snowman will be stretched out away from the moonlight and they will be blue, just like Wayne Tebow did in his desserts. 